Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the BSVC processor has stopped working error on your Windows computer. So if you find that you're coming across this issue, there could be two different primary causes. Either has to do with Bing or Skype. So we're going to jump into it and hopefully we're going to resolve it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just left click on it one time. You want to type in programs and features. One of the best managers to come back with add or remove programs. You want to left click on that one time. Okay, now on the right side you want to go down to get to Skype. And you want to just left click on it one time. And then left click on uninstall. And then if you also had Bing, you could also scroll up and instead try and locate Bing. So once you're underneath Skype, I would left click on advanced options here. And then scroll down to get to underneath reset. If this app isn't working right, reset it. This app will be reinstalled and revert to its default settings. Your documents will not be affected. Left click on this reset button here. You will get a prompt here saying this will permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. Left click on reset. Apply the same logic to the Bing bar as well. So when you go in, and I'd also recommend resetting that as well. So once that's done, you have a little check mark. I'd recommend restarting your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. Now if it has not, there is one more thing we can try, and that would be to open up the start menu, type in internet options, best match should come back with internet options right above control panel, left click on that one time. Now if we go underneath the programs tab, just left click on that one time, and now you want to go underneath manage add-ons, left click on manage add-ons right there. You want to go ahead and left click on search providers. So go ahead and if you see Bing here, just right click on it and you want to remove it. So if there's anything other than Bing, I would suggest having Google on there as well as the default homepage and then you could delete it as well. Any toolbars, which is probably the main area you're going to be looking in. Any toolbars underneath here, just sort of again right click on it and then just delete or disable. You're more than welcome to re-enable it later. So that's pretty straightforward as well. And I do hope that brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.